There's more. <laughs> Their Majesties command before them the presence of Fergus Carolingiensis, late the Baron of Carolingia. <laughs> so. I'm delighted to be here in Carolingia because it hasn't burned down yet. That's good. <laughs> I'm, I'm perhaps a little spooky. <laughs> and I do recall, it seems only yesterday, in the time of their majesties, Kenrick and Avelina the first. Of sacred memory. Yes. <laughs> and we, from then till now, your service for Carolingia has been long and long. bountiful. And, <laughs> and we would thank you for that service. And we are glad for it, and as are the, the barony here assembly. You, you have kept it in trust for the crown uh, well enough. I have done my best for that. <laughs> and okay. now is the time that we must step aside for the successors. Oh, yes, this is on good and tight. <laughs> Perhaps his head is swelling. <laughs> <laughs> Say it. So now, <clears throat> there, there was a slight incident back in that day. Your <laughs> <laughs> Majesties were sitting right there, as I recall, and I was sitting right here. I as, as, right here. <laughs> as the heir apparent at the time. I have a feeling I was not kneeling here. <laughs> you were oh, not. No, you, you, were, you were on the other <coughs> side. Of the... But you were oh, here. <laughs> and and I, I do recall a certain transgression against me and mine from that moment until only moments ago. <laughs> you enjoyed the protection of the crown. <laughs> <laughs> And representative here at Carolingia. Mm. Can I take this moment to swear fealty? Maybe we should finish first. And Perhaps. then we'll see if we have time. Fine. <laughs> your Majesty Very good. I mean, our, our Baron Fergus has indeed been charming. Charming? And he's been very hardworking. Mostly at making mischief, as I recall. <laughs> very hardworking. Quite correct in that I, I, I think I think I have something that will say. In the judicial court of our Supreme Lord and Lady, Edward and Thora, held in the Bowery of Carolingia upon 4 April in the 49th year of the Society, Secta Vocatis Curia Aformata. Fergus McRae, being indicted and accused of great mischief and sundry rangus and unlegal deeds, to wit, Appudency, profusion in glipstar of royal lands and goods, novel design of goods and chef, and fire raising. <laughs> <laughs> the said Fergus being found in guilty of the above written crimes, it is hereby disposed and ordained that the said Fergus be punished therefore with all rigor by tinsel of landes and goods, by extension of fam, titles, honor, and memory conformed to the laws of this realm. Therefore, we decreed it and ordain it that the said Fergus should be had to and give it besides the market crews of the burg of Carolindia, his head there to be stricken from his body. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Further, that all his lands, heritages, offices, possessions, tacis, steedings, cornus, kettle, axionis, debts, obligations, goods mobile and goods unmobile, and others could somever quick pertinent to him should an oct appertain to our sovereign lord and lady to be applied to their use by reason of a sheet of forfeiture to be obtained, use it, and dispose it by the crown at their pleasure, as process devise it thereupon bears. So command it, decree it, and ordain it by Edward the king and Thura the queen. So. <laughs> Alice McIntosh. <laughs> Bear that hence. Guards, 
I will walk out like I walked in, thank you. I told you this was gonna happen! You didn't listen to me, did ya? Well... Sorry about that. Business? I hear there's a plea for clemency. Perhaps, perhaps we are in a mind to hear something more. Lord Majesty is what have before the Mistress Keone of Uriseva. 